A&E's hit show titled Storage Wars has already been running successfully for 13 years now. While the show already gathers a lot of views worldwide, there's something that can make it the best show in the world. Do you want to know what that thing is? Well, then you've come to the right place, because today we're going to tell you all about that. Let's get started. First of all, for those of you who don't know, Storage Wars is an American TV series which first aired in December 2010 on A&E Network, and it's been running successfully for more than a decade now. Professional buyers go to auctions on the show and look for some interesting high-paying items that can help them grab a big profit. After a buyer buys the locker, then they review all the items in it one by one. Any rare or unusual items found are taken to an expert who then estimates its worth. The show is in its 13th season as of now. The reason so many people tune into the show is because they expect surprising items to come out of the lockers. Unfortunately, most of the times, the biggest finds by the cast of the show have happened when the cameras were not rolling, and we think that this is something the makers of Storage Wars should look into. Dan and Laura Dotson, who are a part of the show, have their own company called American Auctioneers that also owns the show, and they have auctioned a few lockers off through their company. Some of these items auctioned off by them off screen had way more value than a lot of items that we've seen on our TV screens. They once auctioned a locker that had real life pirate treasure inside. This locker was previously owned by an old woman who had passed away just a few months before. The man who bought this locker agreed only to share his first name, which was John. And John, who bought this locker for just $1,100, ended up getting 500 grand from it. John found a very unique blue Rubbermaid container inside the locker, and to everyone's surprise, when the container was open, there were actual Spanish gold coins, as well as gold and silver bars in it that dated back centuries, and the container was filled with them. When they assessed the treasure, John was beyond happy to know that it was worth $500,000. This was one of the most surprising turn of events, and unfortunately, there were no cameras there to record these moments. Now, before we move ahead, if you're new to our channel and you're liking our content so far, make sure to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon too, so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video for you. With that being done, let's get back to our topic. Just like the previous incident we told you about, another once-in-a-lifetime discovery happened to one of the cast members of the show, but to everyone's dismay, this one was off screen too. Dan Dotson was approached at a charity event by a woman who told him that a locker that her husband had bought for a mere 500 bucks had a safe in it. When the safe was opened, there was freaking $7.5 million in cash in there. This definitely had to be the biggest find inside of a storage unit. This is the reason that we think the makers of the show need to do something about this. We know that it's not possible for them to keep a camera with the cast members all the time, but they can at least make the cast members notify them and then have the teams sent to the place of discovery to record these moments, or they can even recreate these moments for the television audience and then record them. The fact that some of the biggest discoveries made by the cast members and one that ended up being worth $7.5 million did not happen on screen is really a bummer. So, if someone from the makers of Storage Wars is watching this, we request that you at least consider this suggestion as this can make your already great show the best show in the world. After all, we all tune into Storage Wars just to get surprised by the valuable and sometimes very awkward but rare items coming out the lockers. Ensuring that any valuable discovery inside of a locker that happens when the cameras are not rolling is recorded later can definitely make the show more exciting for the audience. And with that, our video comes to an end. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to like it. What did you think of today's video? And what do you have to say on this suggestion of ours? Don't forget to tell us about it in the comments section. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Go hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon too. We'll see you in the next one.